Hi guys, it's me, Peg, and I am the nature person. I'm the land person for sailing camp. Why? Because I get whoa, sick if I go on a boat. So I stay on the land and I do some things on land with you. Like today, we're gonna be doing a creek walk. So that would be the village we stay at. That's village one. And when we go on a creek walk, we're gonna be going where the creek is. And where's the creek? Well, up there is the upper lake and that's where Laura was doing devotionals with you. But now the lake has to drain somewhere. Where does it drain? Well, follow me. So we go through this nice little opening here and you're gonna see a dam. Allison, did you help build this dam? I did. Allison was one of the builders of this very dam over here. And by the way, on camp is the only place you're allowed to say damn. <laughs> so we come through here. Ooh, it's naturey. That's what I do. I do the nature stuff. So here is the dam that they built. And way up there is where the upper lake is going to drain into our little creek. And as you see in the creek, or maybe you can't, not sure what reflection you're able to see there, there may be some fish in there, there's definitely some plant life, and when we go on a creek walk, the thing that we're looking for, <gasps> crayfish, yeah! So Allison has a handy net. And if she walks really carefully, she may be able to see those crayfish and scoop them up. And then we put them in a bucket and then we can talk about them. Some of the things we do, we try and catch as many crayfish and we kind of do a little competition. Which of our teams or which of our watch groups, as we call them in sailing camp, which of our watch groups can find the most crayfish on a creek walk? So, if you're ready, we're going in. Alrighty, folks. So, crayfish like to hang out under the rocks, right? And they swim backwards. Now, we're kind of early in the season, and it's been raining on and off, and it's cloudy. So, we may or may not be able to see the crayfish but definitely during the summertime, we can see a lot of them. So as, as we get into the creek, you may actually be able to see the crayfish scoot out from underneath a rock. Oh, there's one. So right here, where my finger is, like literally underneath my finger. Do you see him? Nope, just scoot it underneath the next rock. Over on this side. <laughs> so you actually want to be down there because I'm going to try and move this. Oh, there he is. Whoop, coming this way, coming this way. He's underneath under rock. this rock. Again. Oh, we Better. got a baby one. Little one. So this is a crayfish and this is a baby one. Whoops. And that's just a oh, rock. Alright, so here's what the crayfish do. And this one is actually missing an arm. That big pincer on the one side is what that crayfish would use against its enemies. And they're really fast. Oops, look at that. They swim backwards. So they take that big tail and they flick it underneath them and that sends them backwards really fast. 
and out of the way. And then they have all these little tiny legs that they're going to use in order to sweep water up underneath their bodies. And that's how they get water in their gills. Oops. They get water in their gills. And that's their little arms that they use in order to feed. And they sweep water up underneath this part of their body. And that's how they breathe, because that's where their gills are. They have gills just like fish do. And so, we caught our first crayfish, if you want to see, guys. Awesome! Oh, little one. It's a baby. It is a baby. And he's pinching me right now. Oh, oh. ouch. Oh. But it doesn't hurt, because he's a baby. But if he were a big bubba, look out. All right, so I'm going to put him back in so that he can breathe. And we're going to travel down the creek a little further. Bye-bye. Swim away. All right, and so we're going to be traveling down towards the bridge as we go along our creek walk. And the thing you have to be careful of, as you can see, there's plenty of rocks in the creek, and those rocks wobble. But again, that's our best location to find those creepy little critters, the crayfish, on our travel. All right, we are in. So I got my friend Allison, and we got Jody and Larry taking a good drink, and Laura, our first cameraman, woman, sorry. And good. now we are walking on the creek. All right, so you can see Allison's in front of me, and she's taking some very careful steps, because like I said, those rocks are gonna move. And as they're moving, they're gonna kick up some of those crayfish that we're looking for, and you'll see that she's out in front. She's got the net. Why? Because as the rest of us come behind, we're kicking up a whole bunch of sand and silt, and it's going to float down the stream where Allison's trying to find those crayfish. And it gets really murky and mucky, and then you can't see anything. So that's why she's out in front. So if you're on a creek walk with us and you want to be the one catching the crayfish, you would want to be the one out in front. And again, they're little, little pesky little buggers, and they're all over the place, but we can't see them because they're hiding under the rocks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Allison get into a position where she may be able to catch something, and then I'm going to start moving some rocks. And we're going to see if we can get maybe a big guy. All right, so I'm going to move this rock right here, and she's downstream right there. And then, oh, anything? I got nothing. Oh, but look, there's some really cool stuff. Ooh, creepy crawlies. Creepy crawlies on this rock. There's some little tiny slugs. And then you get the mayflies from all of the Ooh. mosquitoes. If you're with a group, and that group is behind you, and then all of a sudden, there's low-lying branches, you would be really nice to move the branch out of the way for them and let them go on ahead of you so that they can not get into any spiders. I've got it. Oh, Larry, who's got longer arms than I do, he took over for me, and so I'm gonna move ahead, and Larry's gonna hold the branch for Jody and anyone else who might be behind us. Because it's dry. Otherwise. And now, as you can see, we're getting a little bit deeper. There's no rocks that you can see. And this is where it starts to get treacherous, folks, because if you can't see the rocks and then you go to step, you don't know whether you're going to hit a solid rock. Ooh, like the rock is our foundation, man. <gasps> getting into some spiritual things here whether it's gonna be a solid rock or whether it's gonna be a wobbly rock. And so that's where you have to be really careful. And that's where you talk to people in your group and say, oops, watch on your left, there's a wobbly rock. Or watch out for the rock ahead of you. Or there's a prickly bush right there that might get you. And so 
that's what we're looking for. Now this is deeper water and you can see we're really mucking it up here. So our likely chance of seeing a crayfish kind of slim to none. And we're also not seeing any little tiny fish that might be floating around. Sometimes there's sunfish in here or catfish that are in here. But we have a better chance of that way down the creek, which we probably uh, not looking like we're going to get to today. But maybe someday on another video, we'll see that. So we're going to climb out onto this bridge, and that's where we're going to end.